been cheated. When you need help, she's on your side. Better call Bacon. Terrorized twice. A loophole in state policy allowed someone to renew the registration of a murder victim's car. And now, a full year later, the victim's girlfriend is scared that this mistake is putting her and her children in danger. That's when she knew she'd better call Binken. And this story is somewhat complicated, but it really comes down to this loophole. It is. And today would have been Kurt Chang's birthday. His murder, though, is still unsolved. And someone is driving around in his car, still registered to him. And they're racking up tickets, and those bills are coming to his girlfriend. That just doesn't sit well with me. The red light ticket came in the name of Kirk Chang. He was Chelsea Mosley's boyfriend, and he was murdered last year. But now, someone renewed the registration on his car and is driving it around. Okay, how can someone that's passed away get their plates re-registered? Apparently, being dead isn't enough to make Florida's Department of Motor Vehicles turn away business. They walked in with the plate, no ID, nothing and said, I want this plate re-registered. They didn't ask for any identification. I called state authorities for answers. So is there anything that we can do to help her? I was told whoever did this drove to a DMV office in Broward County last month, then came back to Hillsboro and ran the red light and then used a toll road. The bills for both violations are coming to Mosley because Kirk's last address was with her. That should not be legal. That's, that's setting people up to commit crimes, to do stuff in that person's name. That's a real concern, considering Kirk's murder is still not solved. His car, a 2004 Mitsubishi Gallant, was released to a family member after his death. And now, whoever renewed the registration is not linked to the car. So how did this happen? My investigation reveals two problems. The DMV computer does not list Chang as deceased, and renewing registration requires no ID at all. It was explained as a loophole, meant to allow family members to renew registration as a convenience. But that's not the way Mosley sees it. That's unacceptable to get an answer like that. And you want to hear unacceptable, the DMV told Mosley the only person who could fix this is the customer. But of course, he can't because he died. It is so bizarre that, that, that this sort of thing could happen to someone. And you worked phones all day trying to get some resolution, a solution or something. Did you have any luck? I had a little bit of luck. I called the Tampa Police Department and they tell me that they're still investigating because they still haven't called whoever murdered this man. They have flagged this in their system though. So if something does happen, if her worst nightmare happens and this car is used in a crime, they will have it in their system so they won't show up guns drawn. So that makes her feel a little bit better, but she still wants all of her information off of this car. The DMV is looking no into it. I went all the way to the tops, Tallahassee, and I'm hoping to hear back really soon what they're going to do because this could happen to a lot of people. Yeah. All right. Thank you, mm -hmm. Shannon. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Benkin. The telephone number 1-855-BENKIN.